Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where main and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida. But today we're not at Hallover, we are on a field trip to Boca. And it's not always the wind and waves you gotta battle. Sometimes if it's a busy day at the inlet, it's gonna be the wake from the other vessels passing through the inlet as well. Let's see how the rest of our captains fare as we begin this contest. Our first contestant to do battle with Boca Inlet is gonna show you what it's like when you come speeding through the inlet. Here we can see it's kind of a calm day. And this Magnum Marine with twin Mercury 250s is blasting its way toward Boca Inlet. We do have a few rollers here and there, but for the most part, it's not really a tight chop. There's no heavy following sea, and my man's going to show you how to straight blast it in. But don't worry, they're going to do it both ways. This crew turned it around in Lake Boca and came blasting back out the inlet with the throttles pinned and will absolutely annihilate Boca in this round. I have no choice but to give this as an easy win to the boats here in the first round. But let's see how our second round contestant fares as they prepare to do battle with Boca. But whatever you do when you're coming through any inlet in South Florida, heck, any inlet anywhere please don't do this you never know what you're gonna prep for even though it looked like a nice calm day the last thing you want to do is put kids in the bow of the boat look at this right here these guys get airborne and slammed down this is one easy way for you to get a child injured I can't tell if they got a life jacket on so I'm not gonna hold that one against them at this point but it doesn't really matter either way I'm still gonna go ahead and give the wind to Boca in this round as that one absolutely could have turned out bad our contestant in the third round is going to show you what it's like when you have a little bit of an easier time coming through the inlet. It's not that rough today. Most of our vessels who are struggling, they're only struggling because of the amount of traffic that's coming through the inlet. And fortunately for our crew in this contender right here, they're not going to have to deal with any of that as they make their way out of Boca. There's no wake. And of course, as I can tell, there's no real waves. And they're going to have a pretty easy time. Now, the wind does pick up a little bit here in the afternoon. And this is that same vessel on a return approach to Boca Inlet. And this shows you just how a few hours can change things here at the inlet obviously this is not the same conditions this crew left in now don't get me wrong this contender's got the throttles down and they're gonna blast their way straight into Boca and take a win in this round it just goes to show you always need to use caution when approaching the inlet because you never know what conditions you're gonna get our next contestant is gonna show you what happens when you go through the inlet and things don't go as planned here we can see the sea fox come rolling out of Boca inlet and apparently these guys are actually physically trying to stuff the bow and they're not succeeding at all typically I would give them a win in this round but they didn't succeed and what they were trying and I'm actually going to go ahead and give a win to Boca in this one and that'll even things up heading into the fifth and final round let's see if the boats can hang on and take a win here comes our fifth round contestant on approach to the inlet and man that was close right here the boat lands a little bit awkward and the captain almost gets ditched from the helm fortunately he's able to get back to the helm and they're able to recover this and continue on their approach into Boca and right here they actually do have the throttles pinned down pretty solid and they're making a really solid run and approach at Boca Inlet and as he makes his final turn to approach the mouth of the jetty i'm really kind of torn on this one the overall run is pretty good but that fall could have had near disastrous effects i'm not 100 sure how to rate this one guys i'm gonna let you do it who takes the win in this fifth and final round and who takes the episodes is it the boats or is it boca inlet light it up in the comments below and let us know thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode of boats versus Hallover. if you did please check out our other content we have wavy boats who gets us all these great images at Hallover inlet and boca inlet my channel broncos guru we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well and of course we've got the miami boat ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens to the boat ramps in south florida and if you guys haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here